In this tutorial, I'll show you how to take a picture that you have taken with the digital camera of yourself and change the background. First, after you've taken your picture and you uploaded it into your H drive, you want to go to File, Open, and find the picture that you have saved into your multimedia images folder this is the picture I will use and now the first thing you want to do is you notice your layer over here you want to right click on it and duplicate layer and just keep it as background copy this way if you make a mistake you can always come back and start over with your background original so click on your background copy now the next part of this is just zooming in and out and making a selection. Basically, you can click this arrow to close this out so you see more of your screen. Basically what you're going to do is click your tool here, your quick selection tool. And here's a bunch of options here where the size would be, if you notice my crosshair is on my shirt, if I make this bigger it gets bigger so you want to be careful with that but play around with it you don't want it too big because what you want to do is it should be on add which means you want to add a selection so what I'll do is I'll click my mouse and hold it down and just drag it and then I'm selecting this area but I want to drag more because I'm going to drag to the side because I want to select the rest of my body select this up and I'm just clicking the mouse and holding now you notice this one off of my shirt but I'll get back to that in a minute I'm still gonna select the rest of my body my shirt and this is where this section comes into play where you have subtract from selection so you click subtract and now you take parts off that you don't want well this is where I want to probably reduce my size of my brush so I can get this all as best as I can as close as I can now this is in my shirt so I gotta go back to add get more and see how now it automatically went to the edge so I'm gonna undo that to come back now this is where it gets tricky because you have to zoom in and out so you zoom tool and then you can zoom and then use your scroll bars to go wherever you need to be go back to your quick selection tool add because I want to add this selection still and again it went back up here so you got to be careful and again it's just undo make this a little smaller but I'll one so I can try to just make sure I am only scroll up and again it's just making sure I'm getting this selection right bigger so you want to just try to get as close to the edge as you can with your shirt or arm or whatever it is so again it's just here's a little dip I need to subtract that because I don't want that part I just want my shirt so I'll click in here bring that down take this off so again as you can see it's just playing around and you want to look around your head to make sure add some more of my head gotta undo because it went to the edge make this smaller so again it's just trying to get to the best that you can but make sure you're zooming in so you can get close to the edges as possible All right, now I'll go back to view fit on the screen 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select an inverse. So now it's going to swap my selection area. And now that you have that part done, you want to go to edit and cut. Or if you notice the hotkey, shortcuts, control X. And now if you notice, you, th you still see the background, but if you notice in the layer, that I'm working on it's gone well let's press press the eye click on the eye to make this layer in, um, invisible or hide it and then now you see that section now before we put an image on the background I just want to show you how to change a background color so again I make sure my background copy layer is selected and I want to click on this icon right here, create a new layer. And I want to make sure it's below my background copy. So I just drag it up, background copy a bit at the top. Now I want to cl click the layer that's blank. Now this is where I use my selection tool for my rectangle. And you have choices, but keep it the rectangle. And this is where I'll pick a color. I can come in here and pick any color. And then what I'll do after I have my color is just draw a rectangle from the top left corner all the way down to the bottom right corner and just let go. And if I wanted to change my colors, just come back to my tools palette, color palette, and I can change the colors. So that's just how to make a solid background. Now what if I want a background of a picture. So let's hide this. I'm going to click the eye to hide that. And I'm going to file place. Because I have a picture already of the beach that I want to make my background. So I'll double click on that. And I'll just expand this out to make it as big as the page. And when I press check, the beach is my background, and I'm just hanging out at the beach. So that's pretty much it, how to do it. Um, I hope you followed along with these steps as I instructed you in the beginning. But if not, you'll have to rewatch this and follow it along step by step so you know exactly what you're doing. Good luck, and have fun with it.